Let's go. Welcome to the first episode of Prison Architect. Really excited to share this series with you. If you've never heard of Prison Architect, it's essentially it's similar to like a Sim City type game, except you create an architect. So you're focusing on uh, you create a prison. You focus on one building and managing the prisoners and the workers and everything that needs to be done. And um, unlike Sim City. Um, you'll, we'll, you'll see, I'm going to pause, we have some workers here, so they're directly responsible for anything we build. As opposed to SimCity, it kind of, you just block out regions and the building either pops up or it populates over time. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to start with our foundation. I have played this a bit off camera so I could get a feel for it. Um, because uh, it's, it's definitely a very interesting game. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing a new simulation game, and this is going to be the one we're going to go with. So let's go ahead and start out first. We're going to lay the foundation of a large prison, a semi-large room. Um, let's go about this big, and then we'll turn the workers loose on that. Now, I do have to, I do have to tell you guys that initially this was not the series I had planned. Um, you know, I, if you guys watched the Monday videos, I had another series planned, and kind of going along with the don't starve principle I played about an hour of it and I just didn't like it you know I, it was a triple-a game um, and I just instead of going through the series and I know there's some hype behind it, even though you guys have no idea what the game was I wanted to continue with the game that I actually look forward to playing and I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless um, so with so regardless of that we're gonna press forward as you see right now the things actually have to be delivered so you know, this the game does a good job of simulating the fact that you can't just lay something down and have it pop up. So the workers have to go to the delivery area, lay down the foundation, and take it from there. Um, one of the good things about this game, at least for early on, it, the, the CEO tells you what we need to get started. So we're going to take a look at this letter, I think, while they're, they're moving around. Yes, they are. So we got to start with a warden. So a warden is kind of like the CEO or the in charge of the entire prison. Um, and it, it advises us to actually make a large holding cell first before we build individual jail cells. But I'm going to disregard that advice. I'm going to start building individual jail cells here very quickly. Um, see, now here's the thing. You'll see like different red letters that indica indicate something is not quite right. So let's go ahead. And, there's no entrance here to the foundation. So let's go ahead and add a staff door. And then you'll see this kind of uh, it will populate on the screen. All right, so so once that door gets put in, it should. There we go. Okay, so now we have a foundation of a building. Now, the next question is, we need to set this up so it makes sense. So what I'm thinking is we're going to need a long hallway that is going to have all of the cells. So let's kind of let's let's uh, make the long hallway like here. And we're spending a lot of money on the foundation. I hope this doesn't come back to haunt us, but we're gonna do the best we can with what we're given. All right, as you see right here, you see some uh, see those deals indicates power. So let's go ahead and put down our power station. And um, see what happens we're just going to kind of go with the default workforce we could actually purchase some additional workers but we're not going to do that uh, kind of how I see this happening is I think these are going to be I don't know if this is big enough we'll find out here though this requires an entrance so let's go ahead and put a staff door put a staff door here let's just see I don't know if these these may be I may not have made the building large enough for cells, but we'll find out here in a second. I should have actually made it a little bit deeper. Because I don't think this is going to work. Um, we'll find out. Let's see if we can make an actual cell here. I don't think so. It looks way too small. So we started off on the wrong foot, but that's okay. It needs to be two by three. Oh, no, that'll work. Perfect. I think two by three but then you also need a wall so really what we need to do is demolish this
demolish this wall. And if we extend this wall out, we should be okay. So I think this is where things get a little confusing because I've had problems when I've destroyed the wall of a foundation before. It's hard to kind of get it back, but we'll try it anyways. Um, let's see if we can extend, extend it like this. If that works, I'll be very happy. In the meantime, let's go ahead and run some wires here. Electrical cable. Put one there and one there. And let's turn this power station on. I hope this works for us. Alright, it did. Now that's a little goofy, but that's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and we're going to make a bunch of cells here. So we'll go... It needs to be 2 by 3, right? 2 by 3. 2 by 3. So I'm leaving a space there for our walls. Whoops. How do you undo that? We can do that. Excellent. Alright, so right click on undoes it. That's good to know. Let's see if we space this out properly. Alright, you'll get just we could make this a, a holding cell here. That could be interesting. Let's go ahead, we'll, we'll put some walls down. Um, okay, we have about 12 hours till the prisoners get here, so let's slow this down. We'll slow the time down, and then let's go ahead and we're going to build up the walls. So we'll put brick walls there, there. So we'll make, so we'll make them all the doors open on the left side. They advise against um, building individual cells to start, probably because it's very expensive. But we'll just see how these guys take care of business for us. I feel like we're going to have a, a very well-kept prison. I'm just going to throw that out there. Alright, so while they're doing that, we should probably get some power to the area. Um, I like to keep things kind of clean, but let's just see if we're able to extend that power node and that power node there. We'll see if that works out for us. Okay, so as they're building these walls, where they're also, each room is going to need a door, a bed, and a toilet. So let's get that taken care of now. We'll put all the doors here. These doors are fairly expensive. Jail doors for everyone. Alright, let's go ahead and we need to put, orientate a bed and a turlet. Let's, um, let's go ahead and put the beds on the right side and the toilets on the left. Or turlets, if you are so inclined to pronounce it that way. All right, there's the beds there. We'll put the toilets right next to it. Give them a nice, comforting. We should probably put them at the bed at the bottom. That's okay. We'll put the toilets right next to their their pillows because they'll be reminded of all the drudgery and sludge they've done to get there. Um, let us go ahead and they have not installed the cables yet. Okay, and this is another good indicator right here. You see the the fluctuation of the redness. That's how much power we're using. So eventually, we're, we're probably going to uh, probably going to have issues with that. Now the question is, what can we put here? Alright, so... If this is the jail area, which I like, this is probably the best jail area I've ever built, which may be scary to you if you've been a fan of this game. Um, but this is probably the most... interesting one we built. Let's go ahead and build a holding cell here. Um, that seems like the mo the most logical place to put it here. But I don't know if it's going to be big enough. Holding cell 5 by 5 Nope, we're a little short in the wide department. So we'd actually have to extend this out here, which I wouldn't be opposed to. So let's... But I kind of want to leave a row here. So let's actually go ahead and destroy this. And we're going to extend the wall out. It's going to look a little crazy, but it'll get the job done. So let's go ahead and extend the brick wall, we'll say out to here. 
Ooh, but we need to build foundation, don't we? So let's do it like this. We'll do brick foundation. There to there. That should get it done for us. Alright, so as those guys work there, power situation is okay. What else do we need? We need to build a warden's office. So, I'd imagine we can bring... Gotta be careful how we do this here. So we probably want to actually dismantle that and probably build a large, couple large, how many, how many doors? You probably want one large door here. And I'm so indecisive when it comes to building a prison. All right, this needs an entrance, huh? So we didn't do this right. So let's go ahead and continue on the foundation here. Maybe that'll work for us. Alright, the prisoners are going to be here in eight hours, and we have a lot of things to build. We're falling behind the eight ball here. Why is it falling behind the eight ball? Um, I don't know, but we need to figure out what... Okay, now this looks like a heck of a holding cell. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Put a holding cell here. Sorry about that. I left my I left my uh, my Skype on. All right. So surrounded by walls and doors. Okay. So let's go ahead and and wall this off because I I see this being a hallway for another set of jail cells there eventually. All right. We've we've got a hustle here though. Let's pause this and then let's build everything we need. So let's go ahead and build some brick wall action here. We're going to make it a double... Actually, let's make the double door here. So we're going to put a large door, large jail cell door here. And then this also needs a toilet and a bench. So let's take care of that. Um, let's make this very prison-like. Put the bench in the corner and put the toilet right there. Put on the opposite wall. Maybe we can put our plumbing down here. Let's put it in the corner for now. That's all we need. We should be good there. So the holding cell, the holding cell, should be good. And okay, we've got some cable issues here. So it looks like we're gonna have to run a straight cable pipe there. Now the question is, should we put our plumbing? down here. No, because we're going to expand there. I hate to do it. It's going to cost a lot of money, but let's keep our utilities. Actually, no, we could put the plumbing there. Let's do that. Because we probably will never expand this way. So let's go ahead and put the water pump station right here. And then we need to probably what we're going to do, let's run the pipe. Let's run a fat pipe money is it going to cost? All the way along here. That way we can build additional cells if necessary. And we'll small pipe it. They got to have water to the turlet. Otherwise, the turlet just won't get the job done. I think our other turlet's there. All right, so let's go ahead and press forward here. These guys need to start building. What else do we need? We need a warden's office. So right now, the prisoners are going to walk in here. And they probably need to just have this be separated. So let's go ahead and... Hmm. These prisoners have to eat. So if here's the cell, here's the holding cell. They're going to need to... There's going to be need to be another secured area. So let's put a... Everything south of this wall right here is going to be secured. Let's do it that way. That way it keeps things, keeps things kosher, if you will. I think, let's do it like that. Keep a, we'll keep a large hallway. There we go. So everything south of here will be prison oriented. All right, so next thing we need, we're gonna need a, a kitchen area. 
kind of showering area. I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just work on the kitchen and leave everything else open for now. So, to do that, we have to have a canteen where our young prisoners can eat. Let's say we make the canteen like so. That'll give them a little room to eat. Canteen there, and we'll put kitchen here. I like that. Kitchen there. And then here's what we'll do. We'll put a little dividing wall in between. You guys like that? I think that's how it's going to work here. Alright, so we'll put a brick wall. That should probably do it. Let's get rid of those two, though. Um, this also is going to need to be canteen because we're going to put a divider there. Make this canteen. You guys will see what I'm talking about. So in a canteen, you have to have a serving table. So I'm going to try to use it for blocking purposes. I think that'll get it done. Not really sure. Let's put it there, I guess. Let's see how it works. Alright, so there's a serving table. And the prisoners are going to be arriving in four hours. Got a lot of building to do here. Um, let's go ahead and finish up the kitchen. What do we need for the kitchen? Oh, let's calm down. The panic is real. So right now we have no utilities to our jail cell. Why is that? Because this has not been built yet. What are you guys doing? Get to work. <laughs> they are wor they're working their tails off. All right, let's uh, let's get the kitchen set up. So we need a cooker. Probably make the entrance right there. So let's put the cooker. Put everything on the back wall. Cooker there. Also needs a refrigerator. Which way does it open? That way? Which way does the refrigerator open? Like that? I guess so. We'll Try it like that, see if that works. And we also need a sink. Perfect. Okay, that is also gonna need some plumbing. So, how is our deal here? Prisoners are here in three hours. We gotta move it. We may have to hire some additional workers here. But, um, let's pause it here for a second, because I'm panicking. Kitchen, everything is good here. It just needs to be installed. And here we need a table and a bench. Of course, they need something to eat off of. Now, much like a cafeteria, how many can we fit in? We could fit. It's a little close for comfort, though. This is where all the 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 prison deals for cigarettes get, get thrown down. So there's a couple tables. We'll put a, a couple benches there. All right, that should be good to go. We're just going to need to put a jail cell door on that. We'll make a big door. There we go. Put that there. Good. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure the staff has access to the kitchen. Good. Okay, making progress here. Making progress. Okay, now, so prisoners will enter here. You know what, I should probably move that wall like so. So we may be running, we may have some prison issues here, but we'll have to check it out. Let's go ahead and bulldoze. No, no, cancel that. Don't bulldoze that, please. Um, we need a warden. We have a utility problem. Oh, this is not powered on, that's why. Go ahead and run some power to it. Okay, as soon as that, we should be good in the water department. Let's go ahead and let's run a small pipe here. From the toilet to the sink. It's just for the sink. I think we placed that wrong. It's okay though. Printers will be here in two hours, and we don't have a warden 
we don't have functioning water, that's going to be a close one. Oh, they did demolish that. Alright, well, while you're at it, demolish that up. Alright, so let's go ahead and what we want to do put the brick wall like that. This is what I don't get. How do you, you just lay some flooring down, perhaps? Prisoners aren't going to be here in two hours. Alright, let's get the warden set up here quickly. So this will be a staff door here. And we'll give them just a nice party time. We'll leave it un we'll leave it unfinished for now. There we go. And then, so you'll walk in here. Uh-oh. Is our power over uh, overheated? Yes, it is. We're going to need to add... Capacitator. Flux capacitator. That's not the right thing. Okay, so we are overpowered here. Not in the good way. Okay, he's gonna install that. The prisoners are gonna be here in less than an hour. And we don't have the warden yet. Or power anywhere. Get to work. Let's see if this where can we put the warden's office? We just need to give him a, a small corner. Alright, let's turn this power station on. There we go. Now we got power, we got water. Good, things are looking up. So we don't have power to these regions. Alright, that could be clutch for us. Actually, that's fine. See, it should, hopefully it'll extend. If not, we'll extend it out there. I uh, just need to set up the office. What do we need? Minimum size 4x4. Four four. You don't get anything fancy yet, Ward. Where's the office? Office, office. Alright, we need office desk, chair, and filing cabinet. We should be good quickly before the prisoners get here in 15 minutes. Office desk. The warden's not even prepared. What sort of prison is this? Office desk. Where's the chair? That's one of the the one of the issues with this so far is the inventory is not is not uh, that comprehensive. Meaning it's not in alphabetical order. There's you can't really sort it yet. Um, but this is an early access game, so I guess that takes care of that. Looks like once these are in, we should be okay. So. Two minutes till the prisoners get here, and we are still constructing our prison. I think we're gonna be okay. Ooh, we need a prison door there, that's the last thing. We're just gonna make that a single door, and then that should be it. Alright, you guys gotta get that installed. Alright, the prisoners are coming. Here they come. <laughs> All right. Well, the good thing is we have, we have positive cash flow, but the prisoners are here, and we haven't hired any guards or the warden. We're gonna find out what happens to the prisoners in the next episode. Is they're gonna are they gonna run amok? Are they gonna appreciate the moss growing? But I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Prison Architect. If you guys did, I encourage you to hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps support the video, helps support the channel, helps support your face. I will see you guys next time. Later.